Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. It is Wednesday, uh, I don't know what date it is. <laughs> it's house cleaning day, so Wednesday the house cleaning day. Um, it, I don't really have anything, well I do have some finished items, but um, I'm going to do a podcast this weekend, so I'll save it for then. But I wanted to show you a couple of other things things that I've received. Uh, the first thing that I received was from my trusty friend Karen from Happiness is Homemade. Uh, as you all know we had the locale together and uh, we tried to even the prizes um, you know for everybody she was drawing I was drawing and uh, so I wanted to give a project bag to uh, the winners and she took it upon herself. She says, I'm gonna make a bag for the winner that I choose. And I'm like, that's awesome, that's so great. Well, little did I know that she sent me a bag as well. This is gonna make me cry, like, okay, so it says, Locale 2019, and it's perfect. It is one of those, you know, uh, uh, like the gym type ones, you know, that you wear it's perfect project bag, absolutely perfect. So, completely surprised me. I um, mean, you know, I knew she made one for the winner, but I did not know she made one for me. That is so sweet. And to be honest with you, I probably won't use this. It'll probably be a memory thing. <laughs> Maybe I'll put my pins on this, I don't know. But uh, I don't want to use it to ruin it because it's, it's a one of a kind. So, thank you, Karen. But of course, she couldn't just leave it at that. She sent me a Mandela Ombre. I think I'm the first one in Canada to have one of these. If I'm not, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'd like to think that I'm the first one in Canada to have one of these. This is so soft. I think it's softer than the original Mandela. And this is called Mantra. Which is funny because I've been trying to come up with a mantra for myself. You know, uh, I've been changing, um, changing my diet, changing the way I look at the world, changing. Um, I remember someone once told me that our whole body, every cell in our body, is completely different from seven years prior. So every seven years, your body is actually diff completely different than what it was seven years ago. And now I'm just doing the mental thing to go along with that. But anyway, so I've been trying to come up with a mantra for myself. Um, I don't know if I want to try yoga or... Uh, I do a little bit... I don't want to say I, I do meditation. Um, but I guess I'm trying to do the mindfulness thing, you know. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Anyway, uh, so the word mantra has been something that's been on my mind lately a lot. And this is the color. Oh my God. Now, is this different than the other Mandela's? Because it feels different. Uh, what is the... Oh, it's 100% acrylic. Pretty sure the other Mandela's are, have some wool in it. Not 100% sure. Anyway, I love this. I love, love, love this. I can't wait to make something out of this. Uh, I might actually have to knit something. I've been trying to knit. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the first thing I received. The other thing that I received was Rose at Rose Likes, Gro uh, Rose Likes Crochet has started a carousel. And she was so kind to include me because I said to her, I want in, I want in, but... I realize that shipping over the border is ridiculously expensive. So she was kind enough to put me in and put me as number one so that anybody following wouldn't have to send it to me. She's taken on the, the cost of that and I'm taking on the cost of sending it to someone else. I just got this so I don't actually know who I'm sending it to. Um, but I'm allowed to show you what I've taken out of the box. I uh, can't show you anything else. So, first thing I took out, and I hope to God that this is, because these three were together in a bag. 
So I'm assuming that's one rose. Um, but anyway, it's the homespun, or as Claudia calls it, hellspun. I love this stuff. I love working with it. I've said it before. Uh, you know, people complain about not seeing their stitches, and that might be true. But that being said, the other side of that coin is it hides your mistakes. <laughs> so who cares? <laughs> anyway, in this colorway is gemstone stripes oh this is the homespun stripes but look at that beautiful colors oh my goodness i love it three of these I and mean, this can make a pretty decent there's 185 yards in each one so that's a decent sized project so that's one the other one i took i'm assuming this is one because it's in one bag is this which i'm pretty sure we can't get up here and i uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Target, right? Uh, is that Handmade Modern? Is that Target? I've seen other videos. I'm pretty sure that's Target. And you get 200 meters, 100% acrylic. And the, uh, this colorway has some sort of black. Um, Oh, it is Target, yes, it says here. Um, hmm. I, onyx. Yeah, it's only that big. Look at that. Anyway, uh, and this one is gray scale. And it's grays. Uh, it starts with a, a white, and then it goes off to lighter gray, darker gray, really dark gray, and then back to white. So again, this will be a nice little project too. I like that. And then the last one that I picked was this. This one's heavy. Rose, I can't believe you put this in the mail. This must have cost you a small fortune. This is the Lion Brand Fettuccine. And the reason that I took this, I still haven't cracked into the Fettuccine that I got out of that Secret Santa um, bag from Lion Brand uh, that Karen sent me. Um, but my goal is to make a rag rug, crochet, like a, do you remember the old rag rugs? But I want to crochet it um, to make it look like that. Um, and this will go absolutely right along with that other fettuccine that I have when I get around to doing it. So, two of these. So happy, so happy. And there is one more item in there that I'm eyeing, but I don't want to be, you know, greedy guts, you know? <laughs> So I'll just leave the rest in there and, and I'll replace the three items that I took for the next person. Now that's, uh, I'm not showing you anything that I've done. I've showed you what I've received. I want to touch on something else. Um, I've been watching videos lately and I do apologize if I'm not, like I've been trying to watch as many videos as I possibly can, uh, but life gets in the way. But there has seems to have been a theme the last couple of weeks um, about negativity. Uh, I guess some people have, like Zelda made a comment about being called names. Um, Crystal at Bag of Day had to get on and make an announcement about, you know, they will not steal her thunder. Like, um, and then even, even just today I watched a video um, from Gypsy Rose, and she talked about um, uh, the the full moon thing and the negativity in life. And um, I, is there something in the water? Maybe it is the full moon. Um, it just seems that the um, I don't know negativity seems to be swallowing up a lot of space. And anyway. I, Gypsy also talked about who are, she asked for people to make a comment about who are the uh, people's inspirations. And I was touched. I saw my name came up, come up a few times and it made me awkwardly happy. Um, happy because, I mean, who wouldn't be happy? People are saying you're great. Of course I'm happy, but awkward because I'm not, I don't know how to take it. I, I really don't know how to take it. I look at other people as inspirations. I don't, I don't, um, 
It's awkward to think of yourself as an inspiration to others. I know we should all do it. It's still hard though. That being said, um, with regards to the negativity that's going on, I know this is going to sound hard, but you really just have to look away. You really do. You cannot get yourself, now I'm going to sound like I'm preaching, but you cannot let yourself get swallowed up by that. One, you can't please everyone on the planet. You're not intended to. You're not supposed to. Um, if I can please, you know, the amount of people on one hand that I think are, are that I think I should please, I'm good with that. I do not need to please the hundreds, the thousands, the millions, or even more than what's on your one hand. I do not need to do that. And neither do you. And as far as the negativity, I've looked at some channels. Now, I don't normally look at the thumbs down because to me, just giving someone a thumbs down, I don't know. It, the way I look at it is either they didn't watch and they're being vindictive by giving a thumbs down or they watched um, and then gave a thumbs down and I'm thinking, well, why'd you watch? And why do you keep coming back to watch if you keep giving me thumbs down? So I don't even... I don't even pay attention to that. And with regards to people not feeling um, good about themselves um, or, or feeling afraid to try something, like there's been a few people that have commented saying, oh, I don't know if I wanna, I wanna start a channel, I really want to, but I'm afraid. Karen, um, you really, there really is nothing nothing you have nothing to lose um there's gonna be haters doesn't matter just do it if there's something that you want to do you just do it and you should never um oh what's the word attach your self-worth to other people's opinions don't get me wrong i am no yoda i don't you know i try to practice these thoughts but it's hard for me too. Like I have days when it's just like, oh God. But you really do need to try. I'm gonna tell you a story. Um, so this was, <laughs> this was. I'm gonna toot my own horn here because it was one one of the few times that I was very proud of being a mom. Um, when our youngest was uh, around five years old, he came into the room crying, just crying. And I said, what happened? What's wrong? And he said, Nathan, who's our older son, Nathan called me stupid. And I just turned around. I didn't respond to that. I just said, you're a car. And he kind of wiped up his tears. So I repeated it, you're a car. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm not a car. I said, you're not stupid either. So I asked him, why is it that you believe what Nathan just called you, but you're not believing what I tell you? Why? Why are you giving him so much more, you know, why is his opinion more important than mine? And it made him think. It really made him think. And from that moment on, I always say that to myself. I'm not a car. I'm not a car. I'm not a car. Every time I, I try to, uh, every time I start to second guess, well, not second guess, but try to not have faith in myself or try or, or or if I listen to others you know giving me you know negative you know not holding me up but trying to push me down I always say to myself you're not a car you're not a car you are not what they think you are uh, you need to know who you are um, anyway that's that was my little story and, and from that little, and I did not, the, first, the last thing in the world I wanted to do was call Nathan in and you know give him a hard time saying, hey, you can't do that. Because all that, all that would have done was showed the youngest one, oh, if you have any issues, go snitch and instead of dealing with it himself, he actually, and I've used that in, the, uh, in that car thing a few times as he was growing up. And now he's a very, very confident uh, young man. I'm not saying that it's just this car thing that gave, made him uh, self-confident. You know, it's a learning. Life made him self-confident. But I think that had 
played a part and he's a very self-confident man and well boy 16 um, and I think all of my children are very confident young individuals and uh, very proud of them I'd like to take a, a little you know credit for that but you know it's you, you need to you, you know just like we try to teach our children to stand up for themselves not in an aggressive kind of way just believe in yourself we want our children to believe in so why don't we do that why don't we believe in ourselves so anyway back to all this negativity you sometimes I actually feel sorry for people who are like that who feel the need to give thumbs down um, to you know for something innocuous as a, as a yarn podcast like you know I, I'm not doing anything wrong I'm not I'm not hurting anybody I'm not um, you know, doing anything malicious. Um, so people who feel that need to push others down, I actually feel sympathy for, I feel pity. Um, I wonder what made them like that? What made you like that? That's what I wonder. So I don't hate, I pity. Um, anyway, I, I, I'm gonna stop this ramble because I could go on and on and on and I hope to God it didn't come across as preaching. I just want, um, I guess people to start, and you, you know, the one thing is you can never change another person. You cannot. You can influence, you can suggest, but at the end of the day, you can't make someone act or say or be a certain way. You can only change how you react to them or any situation. So you, 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 every day you have a choice. How am I going to be? How am I going to be? Are you, am I going to give power to somebody who's negative, who's trying to push me down? Am I going to say, here, go ahead, push me down. I'll take it. No, no, that, um, you know what? You, you have to love yourself first. And it's funny, many, many decades ago, when my oldest daughter was a baby, and I was, uh, I was anemic at that point, and I was run down, and my doctor said to me, use the analogy and take this with you through life. When you're on an airplane and um, they go over the, the emergency procedures and the mask falls down, and they always tell you, Put the mask on yourself first and then your child. Because even if you put, if you, let's say you put it on your child first and then something happens, that child's gone anyway because you're not there to help them to, in the next steps. So you put the mask on yourself first. And therefore, I take that through life. You take care of yourself first. You take care of yourself first. You love yourself first. Um, and then you will have enough to give. You will have enough, you know, to share with others. So, and that goes, you know, I don't know why we allow people to push us down. Don't do it. <laughs> have faith in yourself. There will always be haters. There will always be somebody, but that's normal. That is absolutely normal. And uh, you know what? We should all relish in, in our differences because if we were all the same, Life would be pretty boring, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and do a little spiel and uh, give thumbs up to Gypsy, who, uh, you know, if you don't know Gypsy, I'll leave the link for Gypsy. If you don't know Gypsy, she is my down day watching. I mean, I watch her all the time, but on those days when I'm feeling really down, I click on Gypsy and she just, she's just, so, uh, I don't know, just wonderful to, and, and she'll perk you up. She will absolutely perk you up. Uh, if for no, if you don't like her personality, you'll love her nails at least. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's all I have. And uh, like I said, I'll be back this weekend to show you some of the stuff that I've, uh, I've done. And in the meantime, I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week, and we will talk soon.